All righty, yo, yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. DDG94 here, back with another reaction video. Today, we're going to be reacting to the Pelicans. Fly, Pelican, fly. If you know that reference, let me know in the comment section below. Fly, Pelicans. We got the Pelicans taking on the Oklahoma City Thunder. They just wrapped this up. I don't know who won. Um, I got, I got OKC, man. I can't go against them, bro. OKC is, is one of my teams, bro. Like, when it was, like, bro, Russ is the reason KD became my favorite player. Because I was, I liked Russ first. But then I started looking at this, this nigga KD, and I'm like, oh, my God. He can score like that? Oh my God! He gonna be a they gonna be a problem. Russ, when Russ get his shit together, and when KD is fully polished, they gonna be tough. You know what I'm saying? So, hey man, you know, and I've been an Oklahoma City fan ever since, man. I've I, I've I've been an Oklahoma City fan ever since. So, yeah. Um. I'm riding with OKC on this one, man. I, I I I really do like the Pelicans. I really do. I like them. They're a young, up and coming team. I'm a big. I'm a big. I'm I'm rooting for Zion. I'm rooting for Zion. I don't think he's a bust. I don't think that. I just feel like you know. I don't know what they have. I don't know what he has to do. But then again. They don't practice. The NBA, the NBA nowadays, they don't practice as much. So, of course, Zion's going to tear some ligaments if he's not practicing every fucking day. So, y'all need, I, I don't know, man. It just seems like these players getting weaker and weaker with less practice. But then they talking about shorting the season. But if we shorten the season, y'all should practice. If you practice more, less players will get injured. Because they'll be ready. They'll, their the bodies will be in shape 24-7 when necessary. Even if they got two, three days off, still make sure the body is in shape. Don't just sit up here doing shooting drills. Get, get in the gym. Lift them weights. Run them suicides. Run them laps if you got to. Get that body in shape for the next game so that way you don't tear no fucking ligaments. But... They want to cater to the players. They want to let the inmates run the asylum. This is why the NBA is going down the drain, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I say the next 15 years, the NBA is going to be looking like the WNBA, bro. I'm telling you. Trash. But hopefully they fix it soon, man. Because I'm tired of these players leaving teams, joining up, and then playing on teams. Then when shit don't work out, they leave. Like, bro. You can't even be a fan of a team no more because niggas is switch swapping every fucking minute. <sighs> that's just me though. I, I I that's why I love my Milwaukee Bucks. That's why I love my Milwaukee Bucks. I'm rooting for them, man. I'm rooting for them for real. Playoff prediction coming this weekend. You know, all the Falcons have some nice young talent, Jones and Murphy, but savvy veterans of McCollum, Ingram. And what the fuck was that? As we welcome you to the Smoothie King Center, the Fight Jacks and Jeff Lane Kelly, Mike Fremont, and Lisa Saunders with us as well. Alan Judas hands off to Ingram. Ingram sensational down the stretch of the season. There's Murphy. The runner won't go. Alan Judas back there on the foul. And lives at the free throw line. Ingram, a contested jumper. Shot won't go. Alan Judas on the foul. Limited his touches. That's how you be effective against even basketball players. There's Luke Dort. Oh, man. A little bit aggressive. This goes to the rip. Ingram off the bounce. Stops. Line drive shot. I'm about to say, he made that. That was fast. Back up and in. Domination. Williams' responsibility to box out Alan Kennedy. Everybody has to get in the game. Get it up there. And hit the three. Josh Kitty the rebound. Back up and in. Great college coaching by Herb Sendek. Just tremendously impactful as Dort turns the corner for the layup. The injury kind of derailed what they had going. They're one of the best teams in the NBA over the first 
Oh, 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 no. Terrific defensive play. Oh, no, I know that feeling. I know that feeling, bro. You you lay it up. You throw it up there. You lay it up. It, it, it's about to go down. It's about to go in. The next thing you know, you get whacked. Bro, you get whacked. The leg, the thigh, the knee, the hip, the pelvis, nigga. Bro, if you get whacked in the head one time, you gonna be, bro, you gonna be seeing stars, bro. I'm telling you, it happens all the time, bro. This is, only real hoopers know about this, bro. Getting, you, a nigga go up and you getting hit in the head by the leg part. The leg area, bro, that shit hurt, bro. You gonna be seeing stars, bro. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna be unconscious or nothing like that unless you unless you just like you unless you like super light. But if you you can take that type of punishment, bro, you you gonna feel it, bro. It, it hurt like a motherfucker, bro. I know that feeling. Yeah, Williams is battling him, but he can't do anything. Ripping inside, blocked by Giddy. Help defense Valen Chumis comes up with it, throws it inside Jones, and Herbert Jones packs it home. Ingram crossover, Dort right with him. Good pass. Good pass. Good pass. Three pounder for Herbert Jones. Much improved. That's home run challenge. The issue is being healthy and being on the floor. When he's in uniform, he's a difference maker. Right hey, when Dort become a three point shooter though? Over the top, I ain't been watching Oklahoma City though. So. When did Dort become a three point shooter? Another three pointer. Really nice play by Gilgis Alexander. Great move from Lewis, just couldn't finish. Gilgis Alexander knocks down a three. That's his first field goal, his first point. OKC shooting 52% from the field. Here in the first, Gilgis Alexander, the move, the drive, uh, shot is good. Just the fourth lead score in the league had a magnificent season. Good pass. Ooh. Ooh. The rejection. Come on, man. Here's J. Dub, J. Taylor Williams from Santa Clara. This is Giddy. Knocks down that three-pointer, his second three. And I think in that way, he was fortunate to be an assistant for Billy Donovan uh, as Isaiah Joe knocks it in. Of coaches, it's a big challenge when you don't have alignment. Oh, nice speed inside. I was talking, he and Giddy, they're huge in the backcourt. Murphy stepped back, three-pointer. Mm. He has got a smooth stroke. Here's Santa Clara's Jayla Williams. Lost the handle. Here goes Murphy. Take it all the way, young man. Woo! Take it all the way, young man. He's going to be 31 next month. And he has had a huge impact here in the first half. Josh Giddy, the drive and the finish. Jay will the rebound. Back inside. Aaron Wiggins. Dort. Up, Bro, when did Dort become a shooter, though? The first half, he's got 17. There's Darren Dort to shoot it, and Dort does it again. When this man become a shooter? A 20 point first half. He certainly has an impact with his defensive intensity. McCollum sneaks inside. Excellent. Let's go. Step back shot. Oh, good. Now, Gilgis Alexander in the ring. Oh, Wiggins takes it away. Good defense. Good script. Good defense. Good heads up play from Aaron Wiggins. Good. Come here. Gilgis Alexander finds some room. Layup. This time is good. 168 threes all year. Ingram. Murphy, another three. It's good. Murphy once again. Stretched out defensively towards the end of that second quarter when they went small. But the big thing he said is it's got to change. He said, got to get Shea Gilgis Alexander going, like you guys just said. He said, rebound deflected and then taken by Murphy. Murphy strides inside, throws it up, and Ingram. Work right up into him. Top turn around shot. Dude, let's go, and man. Shot from Ingram. Green played 12 years in the league. Goes to Alexander drives, banks it home and a foul. That's tough. eating habits, everything. I'm looking for Jack to help me with my eating habits. <laughs> Set a standard. 
Don't read. Don't read. That's kind of that was a travel. I ain't gonna lie, that was a travel. He got away with it though. That was a travel. Oh, that's tough. Twenty five. I'm glad they didn't call it. Alice Alexander finds some room. That's where he operates, and that rolls in. And one. Nice close by Joe. Murphy was ready to shoot. Took the baseline. Take the baseline. You got it, though. You got it. Who to took him baseline though? Ooh. Ooh. Let's go. Eight assists and four rebounds. That's a quiet, terrific game. Drives inside, left handed, backs it home, and the foul. See, I, I know that feeling, bro. Motherfucker leg come down on your head, bro. You're going to be seeing stars, bro. Bro. That shit hurts. I know the feeling, bro. That shit hurts. I got a dick on the top of my head to this day. Because a nigga need me in the fucking top of my cranium, bro. The fuck, bro. Still got the dick in my fucking head to this day, bro. Shit. Shit hurt, bro. Skinny with a terrific play. This is the largest lead of the night. Isaiah Joe cuts back door and couldn't get it to him. Giddy's got five to shoot. Giddy, three pointer. That's good. Josh Giddy, another big bucket. He's got 24. Trust our work. All right, ladies, they got one quarter to keep their season alive as the two teams exchange buckets. Willie Green played 12 years in the NBA. Joseph Alexander not waiting around for normal rest. McCullum, cross court. Richard what are you doing on defense, man? You gonna run away from the man that's open? Williams to Joe. Isaiah Joe finds some room back out. Dale Williams a sweeping hook shot. Oh, what a beautiful oh, sky hook. Okay. Basketball for a second field goal. Okay. Gildas Alexander. Extra pass. Williams a three. Missed it. Rebound. Williams tips it up. Oh, got it. He's got a clear pass. Throws it down. And the Pelicans are back up by one. Williams up into Ingram. Ingram on the drive. Talent Jonas tries a three. And Ain't no fucking way. One point game. No hesitation. Jalen Williams answers with a three. Ingram spins. Ooh. Ingram shoots. Can't get oh, it. I'm about to say. There you go. Good effort. Has it now. There's the double team. They want it out of his hands. Five Giddy. Giddy fast pass nice inside. Nice and Williams with the stuff. Ten assists for Josh Giddy with 29 points and nine rebounds. Ingram gets inside. Jumpers. Cut. Answers right back. Eight to shoot. Ingram drives, pulls back, drives again. Oh, oh no. Picked up by Gilgis Alexander. Good defense. Into the paint, around, back shot is good, and we're tied again. Hayes trying to hand it off, Dort fighting. Ingram driving, pulls up jumper, got it! Brandon the Ingram, another big bucket! He's just tough like that, bro. I said this shit a couple of years back. I said, that boy Ingram... He could be better than Giannis and KD. He could be. He still got the potential to be. But man, he he he's showing out right now, bro. He got it, bro. He got he he got his bag. He 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 be in his bag, bro. I just wish you know he could do it on an MVP level. That's really where we really need to see it at to see it all come together, bro. Is if he do it on an MVP level, bro? Because I've been saying for the long, I, I said it, I said it his second or third season, and I think it was the second season. Yeah, it was the second season. I said it in his second season, bro. I said he can be, he can be better than Giannis. He can be better than KD, bro. He can be better than both of them. 
He he could he could easily sneak through the back door. He he's that good, bro. He's that good. But we will never know, man, until he reach that MVP level and take it up a notch, bro. Get the the Pelicans up to a top three, top two seed in the West, which is very tough to do. But I just feel he has the talent to do it. That's all I'm saying. But man, he he is tough, bro. Oh, nice defense. And a whistle and a foul. What a block on the first play. Good defense. Jones throws it. Caught by Hayes. Ingram. He's on the three. Oh! <laughs> and he's fouled. Good looking. Throws it in. And a foul. foul. 2.1 remaining. And he's 5 for 5 on the line. They're 25 of 29. A lot of clutch free throws down the stretch. Serious professional as a young team came in here expecting to win. And clutch free throws again. 2.1 remaining, five point game. And the crowd obviously disappointed. That will do it. It's over hey. Thunder team will play another day. I got my first prediction down, boy. I got my first prediction down. Hey. I, I said I had an OKC. They got it done. They moving on. They they fighting for that eighth spot. I don't. I mean, if it be real though, I feel like any team can beat the damn Denver Nuggets in the Western Conference. Any team can beat the Denver Nuggets in the Western Conference. Any team can beat the Denver Nuggets in the Western Conference. So I I I can see. I can see. Who who would they who would they be playing? Oh, they playing Minnesota, yeah. So they be playing Minnesota. Um, they play Minnesota. Well, Minnesota can't beat Denver Nuggets, but I think OKC okay, will have a good shot. But you never know. You never know. But yeah. Anyway, so that's just gonna about do it for this one, Mentimuch. I think that was on the conversation below. I will get back to you. Till then, peace out.